Friday day. What do y'all think the vows are? There's like poetry. It's math. I hate it. Next topic. You think I'm ready to go and try to play tennis if I see another person playing tennis? No. If I'm intrigued by it, yeah. I'm not ready to go play tennis because that person's playing tennis. I'm not doing that. If you don't have individuality, you're bland. If you don't have your own personality, you're bland. Hey guys, it's me, Paige. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'm doing TED Talks with Paige. My response is going to be very blunt. They're just going to be just them. So we're doing TED Talks with Paige, you know what I'm saying? Like, why not, you know what I'm saying? The first topic is going to be comedy. Okay, this is the thing. I want everyone to hear me loud and clear. Just because you make a joke does not mean it's funny. Everybody is not funny. Some people just lack humor. Like, people be saying jokes and it's just like, like, if it's not funny, if it's not funny, like, crying or laughing. But I will, I'm, I might just. But I'm not ready being it like, oh my gosh, you're a comedian, you should be a comedian, you should be on stage. I'm not doing all of that because why am I doing all of that? If you know that you don't have comedy in your back pocket, just keep it there. But not everybody's going to understand your humor and that's perfectly okay. Like some people don't be understanding my humor. I be laughing, the joke be over where I still be laughing. I understand, but comedy is it for everybody. Um dinosaurs if you ever watch dino dan when you are younger on nick jr you're a walking w and the only reason why i'm telling you that is because if you think about it that show was so interesting i will watch it now actually i'm ready to put on dino dan later but listen dinosaurs were real i'm, I'm hoping you know that if you don't i don't know but have you ever wondered if certain animals that are here now have evolved and people wonder why birds are so similar to pterodactyls and cheetahs are so similar to whatever dinosaur used to run fast back then like, gotta think outside the bigger picture you ever seen a bird and you just be like what the f is that you know because <laughs> they be looking a little early sometimes i know I I know I'm not the only one, but y'all ain't ready for that talk, so we, we ain't even gonna talk about that. Goals. Having goals and accomplishing goals are two different things. There's some people out here who have goals and all they are is just goals. I've even been that person before where I've had something that I looked forward to or that I wanted, but it just sat there. You're not doing anything to help get those things. You're not doing anything to contribute to making your dreams your reality. You're just keeping it on a vision board or you're just keeping it in your notes. You're not really thriving towards that certain thing that you want. So it's not much that that goal can do if you're not putting forth the effort into getting that goal. Goals don't just achieve themselves. You have to help, you know, God. And well, you don't have to help God. God can do anything. He can do anything without anyone's help. Internet. We're going to talk about the internet. And I know you're probably like, we're talking about the internet, but you're on YouTube. So that's internet. Of course. Yeah, we're going to talk about the internet. One thing I want to say about the internet is that it's very deceiving. And the only reason why I'm saying it's very deceiving is that sometimes things seem a certain type of way and it's really not that way. Or someone seems like they're doing this, 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 that, and behind closed doors, it's, it's, it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not really matching up to what y'all see. You know, when you're filming a YouTube video, for an example, when you're filming a YouTube video, you may and you may not express how you feel. Half of the time, it's not reality. Half of the time, a lot of stuff is just for entertainment purposes. And it's nothing wrong with doing stuff for entertainment purposes because that's what draw people in. That's what gets you views. That's what makes someone's day when you add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of pop, a little bit of drama, extra. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, that's internet. But I feel as though it's a certain line that you should cross to that. When it comes up to spreading toxicity across, like, platforms or 
you know, bringing someone else down to help them make content or it's just certain things that I feel like you should just keep it authentic. Everything doesn't have to be an act. Everything doesn't have to be a script. Everything doesn't have to be a role because if everything's always a script or role, and it's not just for YouTube, if everything's always a script or a role, you start to kind of get mixed in with that script and that role and you kind of lose track of what reality is. Don't portray to be something that you're not. Don't portray something to be something that it's not. Don't portray a situation. Don't portray a situation as something that it's not. I don't know, like, you'll see them on the internet and then in person they just act completely different. And I'm not talking about having social anxiety. I'm not talking about being nervous. I'm not talking about, you know, being standoffish. I'm talking about completely different. They don't seem like welcoming how they do on here. You know what I'm saying? So always be yourself. You don't have to draw people in your business. You don't have to tell people what you're going through. You don't have to open up to everybody. But just be authentic. Be yourself. Because when you're not yourself, it's, it's wasting your individuality. Next topic, individuality. <laughs> so this topic I feel as though is very, very, very important. Individuality is something that everybody has well no everybody needs if you don't have individuality you're bland if you don't have your own personality you're bland if you don't have your own something that you're interested in passion you're bland simply as that you're bland now you think i'm ready to go and try to play tennis if i see another person playing tennis no if I'm intrigued by it, yeah. But if I know I suck at tennis and I don't like tennis, I'm not ready to go play tennis because that person's playing tennis. I'm not doing that. Why? Like, it makes no sense. It's, 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 it's pointless. That's like me cutting a cheeseburger in half because I seen somebody else do it, but it's all going in the same place, coming out the same place. It, it doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's just a waste. Your individuality is what draws people in is what you know separates you from everyone else is what adds flavor to you adds your own sprinkle to your cake that's what being authentic is that's what having your own individuality is who says anything about how you how you dress or how you act or you're weird or you're different or you're this or you're that or about your face features that don't matter because guess what you're being yourself you can't go wrong with being yourself. I mean, you can go wrong in the eyes of people's perspective. You can, you know, change people's perspective. But besides changing someone's perspective, there's no right or way wrong to being yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, too stressful trying to keep up with being something that you're not. No matter how much you do it, you'll never be what you're not. You'll never be that because that's not what you were here for. You know? Probably said five and I'm probably over five, but it's good because I'm liking these TED Talks. Okay, next one. Meditation. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I recently started my meditation journey. I been was doing it, but I kind of lost my spark and I kind of, you know, did something else. But meditation is important. If you want to relieve stress, if you want to relieve anxiety, if you want to relieve whatever what that you got to relieve, I suggest meditation. It's the best source of peace. Besides God, the best source of peace. You want to get that zen feeling, sleep good at night, no headaches, meditation, it's the tea. Okay, math. I hate it. Next topic. Poetry. I love poetry okay poetry is very optimistic and the only reason why I say optimistic is because I feel as though there's no way or wrong way to poetry you could tell a story through poetry you can write songs through poetry you could express your feelings through poetry you could even get married through poetry you know what I'm saying what do you all think the vows are just like poetry. It's like poetry. Like poetry is so beautiful. So beautiful. I will whip out my poems, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all ain't ready for that. Y'all not ready for that. Redfish, blue fish. Niggas just clues. You doing? You ain't amusing. Uh oh, I'm schooling. Niggas on game. F cloud. Give me the bang. Okay, okay, okay. Plastic. 
plastic. No, I start that madness. I'm going to make it happen. Get that bag. Then I cash in. What? Yo. We're going to talk about bucks. Bucks are very important. It will literally have you thinking. Books have meaning in them. They have lessons in them. They have poetry in them. It's all of how you vision it. Books definitely help sprout creativity. You don't want to be on your phone. You don't want to watch nothing. You want to just relax. Read a book. Like, literally. I know it sounds like lame, but read a book. It's not going to hurt to read a book. You can read your Bible. You can read anything. Like, just read a book. So I'm a book person when it's on a topic that draws me in that i'm you know interested in so choose something that you're interested in we're gonna talk about youth okay youth is important thing to cherish to value to have to look after and to look forward to hold on to it as long as you can when you feel it starting to slowly go away then you let nature take its course and you slowly Walk into adulthood or whatever the case may be. Do not rush. I don't know what I said, but I know it was good. So if you need to go back and rewind, and you should. Dang, I really be rhyming off the top of my dome. That's crazy. Niggas got a chromosome in his school. Oh my gosh, what? Writing. Okay, this is the last topic. You want to do hard work? Write it down. You want to make a song? Write it down. You want to express your day, but you ain't got nobody to talk to you? Uh, write it down. You don't want to talk to nobody because you feeling a little nonchalant? Uh, write it down. Or God. Uh, write it down. You know what I'm saying? You got some prayers that you uh, want to write down. You know what I'm saying? You got a recipe? Uh, write it down. It can go on and on and on. Because when you write it down, you're not letting it uh, build up. You know what I'm saying? You're expressing yourself. It's slowly coming out. You don't have to wait for feedback. You don't have to respond. You don't have to show expression. Expression. You're just writing it down. And once you write it down, you didn't got it on the paper, you didn't got it up. It's up to you what you want to do with the paper afterwards, you know. You're thriving because you're writing. Like, certain things in your life are very optimistic. You'll do something new and not think that it'll have a positive effect and it could possibly change your life because you didn't try something new like do things that take you out of your comfort zone do things that you might think is lame it might work for you you never know here's the lesson during Paige's TED talks zip your lips and listen everything does not have to be trending for you to do it could be talking to you I might not be talking to you don't wait on nobody's opinions. Don't wait on nobody's feedback. Don't wait on nobody. Don't wait on nobody. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Whatever makes you happy, do it. Because I guarantee that consistency is going to get you somewhere. <laughs> that consistency is going to get you somewhere. You've been consistent with God, it's going to get you somewhere. You've been consistent with work, guess what? You're going to get to that bank. Wanna get to that bank? You being consistent with content creator? You guess what? You gonna get them subs? You gonna get them subs? It might not be right now. It might be in two weeks. You might blow up overnight. Who knows? But you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. So yeah, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed Paige's TED Talks. If you wanna do episodes, come on, let's go. We can do episodes. So make sure you stay in tune. Subscribe. Number two, turn on the bell, like, comment, and turn on for more notifications. Felici Stay Stubs Club. Yeah. So subscribe to be a part of the Felici Stay Club sub. So yeah. That's what y'all gotta do. It ain't that hard. Just hit the button. Whether or not you're intrigued by my personality, I don't know. But if you are, then I feel like you should suck because you're not going to be dug or get bored. So you should definitely do it. I hope you guys have a good, blessed day, night. Whenever time you're seeing this, I hope you have a good night. Sleep well. Don't let nobody affect your mood. Don't let nobody affect your vibe. Don't let nobody affect your dreams that you want to conquer in life. Listen to God. If it ain't God's voice telling you what to do, what not to do, or your parents, then it don't matter. Amen.